Hi YouTubers, welcome to the channel. This is Travel 7 Rough Drivers channel and we are doing a, re a review. We're doing five things. It could be six things I hate about my Audi Q5. Now before anyone comes in and says you're an Audi hater or something like that, um, no. It's just, just five annoying things or five things that you hate or it's five things that Audi have been very measly about putting in. Now this is a TDI Audi Q5 in Pelican Blue. It's 190 brake horse and I love the vehicle. I think it's nice. It's got piano lever in here. You don't see, I don't see many seats with this, this particular in it, this setup in it. And if you see the review on my channel, you'll I think you just click down a few more videos, you'll see it down there. Um, I'll go into in depth but not every single like thing it does because when I picked it up, I only I did it for, for like a, say a month, so I didn't really know what all the switches done. I gave you a, quite an idea. So if you want to watch that video, be my guest. But this is just about five things, or maybe six things, that I hate about my Q5. And we're gonna start off with the vanity mirrors at the end of the day. That's a big pain in the backside, not just for me, but for the wife. They don't light up, and that's to me a bit measly. I had a golf, and it was just a match, and they had all, all this lit up, no problems. You pull them down, you pull them open, they lit up. Audi, if, I want, if my wife wants to see or you want to see if there's anything in your eye when you put some makeup on, you have to put this light on. And to me, it's not good enough. Uh, number two. Obviously in the vehicle again, it's the USB. And, um, well, as you see, it's got USB in it at its present time, but I had to buy that from Halfords. And... Uh, because the main one is in here. As you can see, the lead. Now, who wants to leave the phone in there or run a lead, a USB lead out of there? It's not good enough, to be honest. And I've obviously put one in here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm pointing it down now. And hey, that does the rear for the kids or passengers on board. So, that's that. Number three is in here as well. And it's the door pillar, funny enough. Now, because obviously you pump these seats up, and my wife is a bit short, I must admit, but even so, I, on my side, mine's a bit pumped up my seat because you'd like to adjust it. And I've hit my head. Uh, sometimes in a bit of a rush, you get in, you bang your head. But my wife seems to hit her head quite a few times in it, and I've had a friend who's six foot, well, a couple of friends come in and always clump their head on it. I think it's the shape of the actual pillar. So, yes, that's a design fault. Whether they changed it on the new models, I don't know. So if you've got that problem, drop a line down. Uh, it'd be nice to know. Uh, number, what's that? We've done three, haven't we, so far? Yeah, um, number four. It's inside again. Now it's the handbrake. Now you would think that, would you? Yes, it works really well. You put it on, it engages, it stops it. But it's a bit jerky, you know? When you put the brake, it jumps, jumps. What you should have on here, like my Golf had, it had a hold button and it had an auto hold. And that was a 15 plate. This is a 16 plate, and um, I'm just making a comparison. Now, this is an S-Line Plus, so it's a high end of Audi's uh, Q5s. Yes, it's got cruise control. It's got quite a few things on there, you know, bang holes and stereo and all that. You'll see that on the uh, review that I've left, actually, on the um, 
for them. You know, there's a, a Q5. So just show it into that one, please. So that's number four, I believe, we got through. And I could say I could add six onto this one, really. I could even say about the dipstick, which is actually in the vehicle. Um... It's electronic and I'll be honest you would like a physical dipstick be honest because you like to see the oil if it's changing and things like that I know it's you can pay for the service I've done the service and things like that but it is nice to know if you're running short of oil all right you can do it on the electronic I don't trust electronics anyway the next one is we're gonna have to go outside I'll call this number five I'll throw that one in as number six but this is number five really I find it's pretty crap to be honest I'm gonna start it up I'm gonna put it in reverse yes the handbrake is on it's not going anywhere but it's just show you what we're talking about about as much good as um, a matchstick in the dark to be honest and um, like I say so this line plus you expect reversing lights to actually um, show you, you know, where you're going at night. And I like to use the brake, the brake lights, you know, and it's, it's not good enough. So, there you have it. There's my five things. Let's turn this off and take it out of gear. So they're my five things I hate about this particular car. I did throw in six, and maybe got seven of the bin lights down there, but there you go. But I love the car. As you, you see in my review, I do like it. And I may throw in why I'm at it. I did bang on about the insurance on there. I've now sorted out my insurance. I've moved companies, but it's still costing me uh, two, well, I say one and a half golfs to insure now rather than two. So, yes, I've got the price down, but that would say that if you're buying this car, again, look into the insurance. It's not as bad as it is, was, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in because just an update on the actual insurance side of it. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you um, enjoyed the video. But they're the five things, like I say, I hate about the actual Q5. I don't hate the car. The car is a great car. Uh, it's a lovely drive, and I will keep this for a long time. But I think Audi could have done, let's put it this way, a better job in that de them departments, really. Uh, you're paying for um, a, a great badge there. And it's a great car, there's no doubt about that. But it's, you know, it's just lacking in that department where you've got VW. You make a golf, you know, just a match, a 1600 match, and they're, they're putting all the bits and pieces on there. How can they do that when you're paying extra cash for this car? And you know, you, I said, S-Line Plus, it's top of the top of the range, really. You can't go any further than that, apart from you know, it's what you pay with Audi, though. You know, more money you pay the more bits and pieces you get, which it shouldn't be that way. If I think if you're going for the uh, top of the range, then you should get everything thrown in. But anyway, thank you for watching the video. There's more videos on here to watch uh, from music, uh, from motorcycles, cars, automobile history. So just tune in. Uh, thanks for watching. And I want to thank all the subscribers for coming to the channel and making the channel grow up to 5,007 at the present moment and um, I hope it keeps on going like this with more videos to come again thank you very much and uh, it's a good day for me or wherever you are good night thanks for watching and please tune in again and I'll see you soon thanks bye